I didn't really want to do this video because quite frankly it makes me look bad that I failed my A-levels and I had to retake a year but because I know some of you guys will be feeling as aimless and possibly as lonely, lonely. as I did I thought you know what I have to step up mate Asalaamu Alaikum guys and indeed welcome to Smile to Jannah and yes like I said pardon me Ooh, sorry about that <laughs> that's a bit of the uh, omelette sandwich coming out there <laughs> right now that I've set the tone for the video <laughs> let's see let's see where it goes I didn't get the grades that I needed for uni so naturally I had to restart the year and that was a big problem because there was a lot of pressure on me academically I'm the only child, my father passed away when I was one blah blah blah, violins Are you okay? Are you alright? I didn't want to let my mum down so obviously it wasn't nice Okay, okay, okay Especially when I knew hand on heart like some of you guys watching you need to ask yourself did I revise as much as I should have? Or did I waste time? Yeah, if you did waste time then just doing a dua the night before and then not getting the grades that you need it's not Allah's fault you know what I'm saying but I know at that age you're just looking for someone to blame and obviously because you don't hear a response from Allah it's easy you know what I'm saying it's like, why God why are you doing this to us <laughs> but in reality you know you know why I did a year again and then at the end of the year Alhamdulillah all my grades improved by one but this time I genuinely thought I did work hard yeah I did I made my notes and everything but if you're not good at something you're not good yeah but I was comfortable and I could say I worked hard but the problem was one of my subjects let me down yeah I needed three grades to be a certain grade to get into the university one of them was less than expected now I remember when I found that out and I was on my way home I had my bicycle with me and I still decided to walk the whole way I was just questioning everything and I was like what's, what's gonna happen what am I gonna do what am I gonna say to mom and it was a madness absolute madness it was really disappointing but one thing that I can say is I didn't say or do anything stupid yeah sometimes we say stuff that's borderline you know shirk stuff you know when you start blaming Allah and you know, saying some mad stuff you know what I'm saying but think about it if your relationship with Allah is based upon your A-level result what a weak relationship that is yeah because it's a relationship of just take 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 but then what was interesting was when I got home and I checked my university UCAS in those days I don't know what the system is now and then I saw that I had been accepted that despite that one grade being off Alhamdulillah I was still accepted yeah and then that's when I turned and I was like Alhamdulillah but then now obviously a lot of things have happened since then you know uni and you know work and everything and now when I look back I'm able to look back and use that as a story to help other people you know what I'm saying so it's become a distant memory a distant blur and the thing is I guess what I'm trying to say guys is the same will happen to you yeah I know now it seems like you're being surrounded this is all that exists but when you're when you go out into the big bad world you realize that you know what I'm saying this was nothing I'm not gonna lie I did feel alone I did feel let down by myself possibly even having thoughts that you know Allah's let me down or whatnot but you know I'm saying just remember Allah is the guardian of the righteous if you are righteous yeah just realize sometimes the biggest lesson to be learnt is through failure <laughs> this is a brilliant lesson for you to learn that you know you can't be you can't be revising with stuff being played in the background and Netflix and going out with your friends or, or, or whatever or just ignoring and not turning up to your lessons don't worry inshallah in the end things work out as long as you keep your connection with Allah strong 
Let's leave it there, guys. Until next time. Assalamualaikum.